Hello students, I am Manoj Kundare, the Assistant Professor of Electronic Science. Welcome back to our e-learning platform. In previous video, we have seen the block diagram of the Spark instrumentation system. The link of the previous video is available in the description box. Please check it. Now, in this video, we are going to see the concept of smart sensor. Let's see. Our today's topic, what is the smart sensor? A smart or intelligent sensor is the sensor producing an electrical output when combined with an interface electronic circuit. This type of sensor is different from other sensors because it carries out functions like ranging, calibration, and decision making for communication and utilization of data. That means our normal sensor only senses the physical parameter and gives its equivalent response. But the smart sensor is the sensor whose output is in the electrical form and the smart sensor is capable of carrying functions like ranging, calibration, decision making, etc. Okay, I hope you all understand what is meant by the smart sensor. Now, let's see the block diagram of the smart sensor. In this diagram, we can see that there are number of blocks like serial sensor interface, signal conditioner, input output, microcomputer, communication interface, condition monitoring, serial bus, etc. Let's see the basic functions of these blocks one by one. First one is a smart sensor consists of a sensor interface which is generally analog in nature. An ADC convert the analog signal to digital for the microcontroller. That means the sensor interface is analog and the output of this block is analog in nature. To convert it into digital, we require ADC that means analog to digital converter that means the signal conditioner block to convert the digital output for the microcontroller. Microcontroller or microprocessor or we can see that the microcomputer. The ADC output is coupled to an onboard microcomputer via input output ports okay that means the functions is very simple the sensor interface output is analog in nature this analog output is converted into digital one by signal conditioner block the signal conditioner includes analog to digital converter then this digital output is given to or interfaced with the microcomputer through the input output ports. I hope you all understand the four blocks here. Now let's see the microcomputer carries out the functions like auto ranging, auto calibration, offset, and drift correction, etc., and sets it to the system via suitable communication interface. This is the basic function of the microcomputer that it performs the very important jobs like auto ranging, auto calibration, offset, drift correction, etc. Okay. Now let's see the last block, the communication interface. The communication interface is connected with the serial bus. This Via this communication interface, we can communicate with the other devices in the system. Okay, I hope you all understand the simple block diagram of the smart sensor. Now, let's see some properties of smart sensor. There are various properties of smart sensor. Let's see some of them. First one is automatic calibration and ranging with the help of built-in digital system. This digital system means 
built in on board microcomputer or microcontroller or microprocessor block second one is auto acquisition and storage of calibration constant in the local memory of the smart sensor this means that in a smart sensor there is a local memory okay there is a local memory and which is used to store the variable constants of the smart sensor the next property is automatic configuration and verification of hardware next one is automatic correction of offsets time and drift automatic self tuning reconfiguration is possible using either locally stored or downloaded control program from the host communication is done over a serial bus and fault diagnosis is possible that means due to this microcomputer the due to this microcomputer block there is a various properties of micro sorry the smart sensor and this properties includes the auto properties that means auto ranging automatic fault detection automatic calibration etc okay i hope you all understand the properties of the smart sensor now let's see the interfacing of smart sensor with the host that means how we can interface the smart sensor with the host let's see due to invention due to invention in advanced processing technologies the traditional sensors are replaced by the smart sensor some sensors needs power supply amplification and filtering all the systems that is power supply amplifier and filter are combined in aspu block then what is aspu block the long form of the aspu is the analog signal processing unit which provides the analog amplification with digital control and the digital filter that means to interface a smart sensor with the host we require a sensor and many sensor requires some properties or some extra blocks like power supply amplification and filtering okay these blocks are combined in aspu block aspu stands for analog signal processing unit then smart sensor need a converter this converter which is either a analog to digital converter or frequency to digital converter the converter module interfaces with microprocessor or microcontroller for the information processing and bus interfacing required for the communication that means as shown in the block diagram the sensor requires the aspu block the aspu block contains the analog signal processing unit which is which may includes the amplification filtering etc okay then this block is convert is connected with the converter mainly the converter is made up of or which performs the operation of analog to digital conversion or frequency to digital conversion then this data is given to the microcontroller or the microprocessor block and through this microcontroller the data is given through the serial bus and towards the host i hope you all understand the block diagram of interfacing of smart sensor with the host now let's see the advantages of the smart sensor there are number of advantages of smart sensor some of them are inbuilt auto ranging and auto compensation this happens due to the presence of microprocessor or the microcontroller block okay it provides the communication facility with the host improved accuracy higher efficiency 
better distribution of information and reduction in cost these are the advantages of the smart sensor i hope you all understand the basic concept of the smart sensor thank you